Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to customize your app icons on iOS 16. So I've done this video on iOS 14, 15, and now 16, because every time it just changes a little bit, just, I don't know why, they just change the button placement and things like that. But yeah, so in today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to change it. Um, it's very easy and very similar. So what you need for this tutorial is your app icon. So you can either make your own app icons, I have a whole video on that, or you can download some app icons online. I have a pack that you can download or you can just find some or buy some online. Um, the ones I'm gonna be using in this video is from a YouTuber called Canoopsy, um, but I'll have links in the description box below for different types of app icons that you might be interested in. But like I said, my pack is from a YouTuber called Canoopsy. I use his pack for all my default apps. Um, but yeah, just use any custom app icon that you want. So if you don't know what that is, it's basically just an image of an app icon. Something like this is an app icon, um, so you can just customize your own, like I mentioned. And then what you'll need is the Shortcuts app. It is a default Apple app, so it may already be on your phone. If not, you can just go ahead and search for it on the App Store. This is what it looks like. It's the Shortcuts app. It's called Siri Shortcuts, I'm pretty sure is the full name. But yeah, the Shortcuts app is what you'll need. Um, so in order to make your custom app icon, all you need to do is go into the Shortcuts app, and then you're gonna click on this plus button here to create a new app icon. As you can see, I have a bunch here already, but just for the sake of this video, we're gonna create a new one. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on open app to create your um, open app animation. The open app will either be just laying here as next action suggestion. If it's not laying here, what you can do is you can just search for it here. Um, so then usually you can just search open app and as you can see, there it is in scripting. So you just tap on that and then you see it lays here as open app. Then you wanna select which app you wanna customize. So for the open app section, you're gonna click on the app that's kind of um, faded out, tap on that and then search for the app that's on your phone that you wanna customize. So for my instance, I'm gonna be using Notion. You can just use whichever app you want, but I'm gonna go with Notion. But then what you wanna to do to add this to your home screen is gonna to go to this share option here in the bottom right. Click on that, click on add to home screen here. Then it brings up this menu. So what you do then is you name your um, app. So I'm just gonna say Notion. And then to actually do the customizing, you go to and click on this little icon here and then choose a photo or choose file. So my app icon is saved in files, but if you just have a photo on your phone, just click on choose photo and then choose whatever photo you want for your app icon. But like I said, mine is in files, so I'm just gonna tap on it and click on choose file. Here you can see this is the app icon that I'm gonna be using. So I'm just gonna tap on that and this is basically what it's gonna look like. It gives you a little preview. Um, I mean, you can title this whatever you want. If you wanna give your apps unique names, you can do that. Um, a lot of people do the um, spacing between each letter also to make it look a bit aesthetic. It works nicely only for like shorter apps. If you have an app with a long name, it might take up a bunch of space. But yeah, either way you do whatever you want and then you click on add. And then you can click on done and go out of your app. And as you can see here, it added that app to my home screen. So it's as easy as that. That's how you add your custom icons. So that's all there is to it on iOS 16. Like I said, it's very similar to previous years' updates. Um, very similar, but a bit different. So just so you guys know exactly how to do this, that is how you customize your app icon in iOS 16. If you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. Comment down below any other questions you might have for me and definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other customization related and iOS 16 related videos and click on the video to see one of my previously uploaded videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.